Today, we're going to be taking a look at the two brand new squash rackets from Technifiber. They both form part of the brand new CarboFlex X Top range of rackets. We've got the CarboFlex 125 and the 125 NS. I'm Rob, you're watching Squash Gear Reviews. Let's find out what these rackets are all about. Now, before we kick off in looking at how these rackets perform, I just like to quickly look at the design of these rackets. Both rackets are matte white and they've got this carbon fibre-esque weave at the top of the frame with a bright yellow X top at the top. I think on the most part, these are really nice looking rackets. I'm a big fan of the matte white. I'm not too sure about the bright yellow X top paint, but it does help it stand out. But I think in terms of design, these are undoubtedly two of the nicest looking rackets on the market today. First up then, let's talk about the X-Top. What is the X-Top? Well, most squash rackets have got what's called a bumper strip around the top of the racket. If you're unfamiliar, that's a little plastic strip that runs around the top of the frame and helps to protect rackets from things like bumps and scrapes against the wall, ideally prolong the life of a squash racket. Technifiber, however, have taken some feedback from Mohamed El Shabagi. that he wanted to make the rackets a bit more headlight. Mohamed was known for cutting the bumper strips off his old rackets, so he's asked if they can make one without a bumper strip. So Technifiber have developed a brand new material to go at the top of the frame. It's a Kevlar weave, and ideally, that should make the rackets a bit more headlight, a bit faster through the air, while still being just as durable as previous CarboFlex rackets. Now, these rackets are used by some of the biggest hitters in the world, some of the best players in the world. And for those curious, I could not be any further from that. However, even as a pretty standard amateur player, I'm having zero issues consistently finding the back of the court with these rackets. When I really want to hit through the ball, it absolutely zips off the strings. I don't think these are the most powerful rackets that you'll find, even within Technifibers own Carbo Flex lineup. There's the 130 and the 135, both of which should give even more power thanks to additional weight. However, on the whole, I think the two new 125 rackets from Technifiber are very powerful. If you're looking for a powerful racket that still has the added benefit of maneuverability because it's not too heavy, these rackets should be very high on your list. Both these rackets have got a really dense 14 by 18 stringing pattern. What that means is that as you look at the string bed, the strings are much closer together. The theory goes that the denser a stringing pattern, the more touch and feel that a racket should provide. As I'm using these rackets, as I'm playing some drop shots, I'm getting bags of feel through the frame. I know exactly how I've hit the ball. I know exactly where I've hit the ball. And I'm really confident taking the ball in nice and short. This racket's giving me loads of confidence in my shots. I'm especially a big fan of the NS version, which has the slightly thinner grip. I feel like it's just giving me that little bit extra control a little bit more of like a pen-like feel as I'm holding the racket. If you're looking for a racket that gives you lots of control, I highly recommend the NS version of these rackets. So how do these rackets do when it comes to maneuverability? Well, I'm gonna try and talk while hitting some volleys up and down the wall. So the interesting thing with these rackets is obviously Technifiber have designed this new X-Top to give the rackets more maneuverability than the previous racket. However, on the scales, they're actually very, very, very similar. I'm not sure just how much more maneuverable this is than the old racket. Now, one of the things is that the X-Top is very smooth at the top. That should, in theory, reduce air resistance and drag 
as you swing the racket. It does feel very smooth through the air. However, it feels probably just about the same weight as the older air shaft. Now, this is perhaps a bit of a bone of contention for me, but one thing that I noticed when Technifiber brought out last season's air shaft rackets was that they weighed a fair amount more than my older versions, both the X-Speed and the Heritage. Now, I really would like to see Technifiber bring out a slightly lighter version of the Carboflex. It feels like some of the competitors' rackets, such as Heads, Speed Slim Body 120, Caracal's Raw 120 for Joe making. Both those rackets feel a fair bit lighter through the air. I'd be very happy to see Technifiber bring out perhaps a 120 version of this racket in future. It's not to say in the slightest that they aren't maneuverable rackets because they are. They're very fast through the air. I would just like to have that little bit extra lightness as an option. Now, when testing out a new squash racket, durability is always a really difficult one to measure. I've only had these rackets for about two or three weeks. Not had much chance to really put them through the paces. However, I have been very thorough in testing them, not being shy to get close to the walls. And I think that is really important with these rackets given that Technifiber have decided to remove the bumper strip. So far, everything looks very positive. There's absolutely zero wear on the X top, at the top of the racket. I've been very friendly with the walls, to put it one way or another. The paint's worn off the top of it, of the X top logo, but the actual Kevlar weave underneath looks just like the day they arrived. So, Carboflex Rackets, I've got an incredible reputation for being some of the most durable frames on the market. Early indications in that case for these X-Top Rackets are very positive. I'd be very curious, however, to see just how durable the X-Top material is. Early signs, very positive when it comes to durability for the new Carboflex rackets. Now, one of the big questions is what kind of player are these rackets for? I think these rackets are just pretty much a solid all-round racket. If you're quite an attacking player that likes to try and find the nick, I think these are brilliant for that. There's probably a reason why a lot of Egyptians decide to use these rackets. I'm hitting nicks here like I've never hit before, which is most unlike me. Um, but yeah, I think these are a really nice all-round racket. I feel like a bit of a length game, mixing a bit of attack with a nice short game. They really are a well-suited racket for a really wide variety of players. So one final thing before I close this review is I just want to give a separate call out for the NS version of this racket. NS, of course, standing for Noor Shabini. Now I know I mentioned earlier about the additional control that the thin grip gives. Um, now a lot of people might see the fact that this is endorsed by Noor El Shabini and kind of write this off as a racket for women, if they're a bloke. Now, I've got quite big hands, and for me, this grip feels brilliant. I really like the extra control it gives. I feel like I'm playing very accurate squash with it. And actually, since its launch, a lot of the male professionals on tour have started using this racket as well. If you like a thinner grip, this racket feels very similar, in fact, to a stock Dunlop racket. They have probably the thinnest grips as standard. Um, for me, this is far and away my favorite racket of the new X-Top lineup. I think 
I might have to go out and buy one of these. So then, what are my closing thoughts on these new rackets from Technofiber? Well, I think overall, these rackets are gonna suit a really broad variety of players. They pretty much play down the middle. They're a mid-weight racket. They've got a nice big head, nice and powerful with bags of control as well. There's very little that these rackets don't do well. For me, my favorite, as I mentioned earlier, was the NS version of this racket. The thinner grip just gave that little bit extra control and I really enjoyed playing nice, accurate squash. Now, the jury, I think, is out on the difference that the new X-Top makes. I think these rackets are a case of evolution rather than revolution. The older Airshaft racket was really popular, kind of universally liked by a lot of players, so Technifiber have thought, well, if it's not broken, don't fix it, and I really can't fault them for that. I'm not sure how much difference the X-Top makes. It definitely feels smooth through the air, thanks to its nice, smooth material. However, whether it's more maneuverable or not, I think it's a very subtle difference. But what that does mean is that if you liked the air shaft, you will undeniably really like the X-Top rackets. That's it for now. The only other thing to mention is that I'll be posting a full write-up of the entire X-Top lineup, including the slightly heavier 130 and 135 rackets on squashgearreviews.com. And I'll pop a link in the description for you to read that review. That's it for today. You've been watching Squash Gear Reviews. If you've not already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any future reviews. And I'll catch you in the next video. I've got to say, hitting the ball and talking about a racket is so much harder than it looks. I do not know how Paul from PDH Sports, leading online racket retailer, does this on a regular basis. This is awful.